back to another episode of the It's Just Different Podcast, man. And before we get started, make sure you go subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any different, any new content, I'm sorry. And also, make sure you go to my Facebook page. Yes, I do have a Facebook page, the It's Just Different Podcast Facebook page. Please go there, man. That's where I will be uh, showing, or uh, rather sharing all of my videos on social media. Uh, I have a Twitter, but that's, you know, I don't really pay too much attention to that. I'm going to start getting into that heavy real soon here. But, um, it's, it's, you know, it's hard doing different platforms and different things and trying to share everything on, on different platforms, man. But let's get started, man. The Minnesota Vikings fall to the Tennessee Titans 31-30 to on Sunday. And uh, shout out to the guys that scored North, Purple Daily Podcast, who had me on after the game uh, on the vent line. And, you know... We all knew this team was going to be bad. We all knew this team was going to be bad. But to watch it, you know, it, it, it hurts. It's disturbing. I actually was watching that game when we had the lead 30-28. to 28, And I just knew that Tennessee was going to kick a field goal and win the game. I, I, just, I just had that feeling. Being a Vikings fan, we either lose by a field goal or lose by us missing the field goal. So, um... That's how I felt with that with that one, man. And today it turns out that, uh, you know, we may be getting some good news. You know, all these people talking about tank for Trevor, and I'm not a, I'm not a guy who's going to watch the team tank. I'm not doing that. But it turns out that the Tennessee Titans had eight COVID-positive tests. So the Tennessee Titans and the Minnesota Vikings have shut down in-person uh, contact until – I guess the Vikings is until they get their, their test results back, which will be tomorrow. And the Titans is until Saturday. So um, if there's any positive tests that come out of Minnesota, uh, that could um, not be a good thing. Might have to forfeit some games or postpone some games. If I'm a Minnesota Vikings fan, I'm urging, if you're, if you're urging for them to tank for Trevor, I would tell them, man, the next couple of weeks, please just tell other teams we're forfeiting. <laughs> but I, I'm not, I'm not uh, resigned to that at all. I don't want a team tanking. I, I, again, I talked to the guys on Purple Daily about that. I would not watch a team tank. I would not watch a team tank. Um, and, and and none of us believe they're going to tank, right? No, one, I don't believe they're going to tank. They're they're just too talented to tank. I believe that they're going to start getting some wins, and um, you know. It is looking like more of a. I had a 10, 6, 11, and 5 record. It's looking more like 7 and 9, 8 and 8. And you never know with the new playoff, the new extra playoff spot, and the New York, the, the NFC East being bad, and a lot of teams that we thought were going to be good is under 500. We just never know how the records at the end of the day will be. So um, I'm hoping beyond hope that we get this thing going. Uh, this is the first week that Daniel Hunter can be back, but no one expects him to be back this week, so uh, we'll, just, we'll just see, man, we'll just, we'll just see, but I was I was thinking earlier, okay, I'm just going to go, I want to automatically go to 2021, right, because this year is not going to be good, the defense is pretty much built for next season, with Michael Pierce opting out, who was the guy in the middle, our big our, uh, free agent signing, which is why we're getting ran through. On offense, um, today I'm not going to get into the offensive line. I mean, it, it, I, I'm just I don't have the patience or the energy right now to do that. Um, but Michael Pierce obviously now hurt the defensive line a lot. But when you got Yannick and Dakwe now, and Daniel Hunter, and then Michael Pierce being back next year, and then more and in an extra year, I know a, 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 a year for these these young cornerbacks to get their legs underneath them and get some experience. I, I think this defense next year will be totally legit. Um, Anthony Barr's contract, will he be back as a Viking? I don't expect him to with that high number. Uh, if he does come back, I think he may be a restructured contract and that may save us some money and do some other things with that. But as a fantasy guy, like I don't do much fantasy football. I am this year, but I'm not too big into it. I just don't really know what I'm doing, but um, I was thinking as a fan, like, you know, sometimes in the fantasy world, we, we like everybody on one team that, you know, that we think are great players, right, 
So, I was thinking, man, like, let's just say the Minnesota Vikings somehow are just horrible this year. It ends up with top five, the number five pick in the draft, right? And let's just say you got Trevor Lawrence as the number one quarterback. I don't know who's ranked number two. I keep forgetting the, the guy's name, but I do know Justin Fields on most boards is number three. And let's just say those three guys go within the top five. Go before the Minnesota Vikings pick. So let's just say Trevor goes one, other guy goes two or three, and another guy goes four. And let's just say one of the best wide receiver talent to come out of the draft in a long time, and Jamar Chase is sitting right there. Another LSU guy is sitting right there for the Minnesota Vikings at five. Now, we all know what we need. We need offensive linemen. We need defensive linemen. Defensive tackles, preferably. Let's just say we need guards, to be specific, on the offensive line. Let's just say Rick Spielman is sitting there on the clock and Jamar Chase is just sitting right there. I mean, literally right there. Do you think that Rick Spielman will pull the trigger and go, you know what, if we're going to be bad, let's at least score some damn points. And what would you think of offensive weapons like Jamar Chase, Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, Irv Smith, Kyle Rudolph, Alexander Madison, like... I mean, as a as a as a as a fan, you kind of go, "Wow, like that'll be dope." Offensive line won't be great. God only knows what will happen. Um, but I'm not mad at it, man. Like I, I don't see it happening. Of course, I don't really think we're gonna get a top five pick. But again, it's just fantasy. But if it happened, I would not hate it. I would actually be actually I would actually be happy because that would be signifying to the the the. the the uh, front office would be saying, look, guys, we're tired of these trying to win games 13 to 10 in the league that everybody's scoring points. We have to score points somehow. And I don't expect if they if they did that, a Gary Kubiak would be back. I just I just wouldn't expect that. But um, I do. I would like to see, like, you know, what I mean, now now I'm kind of intrigued at what happens, how bad we are this year. Um but we'll see, man. We'll, we'll see, man. But, um, again, the Minnesota Vikings lose to the Titans 31-30, 0-3. Uh, next up was supposed to be the Texans. But we'll see what happens tomorrow with these uh, COVID tests. And, yeah, man, let's uh, let's try to get a W. Let's, let's, you know, we've seen some great things last week. You know, I don't, I'm not into moral victories, but we've seen some good things last week. Keep Justin Jefferson on the field with Adam Thielen. I don't know why Irish Smith is about not being used. Um, but the Houston Texans are just as bad as we are, even though they have Deshaun Watson. Their defense is bad. Their cornerbacks are, are horrible. So uh, I think we can get a W if this game is to be played. I think we can get a W. And, uh, yeah, that, that's going to be it, man, this week for Vikings Talk. You know, um, I, I, I don't really have much to say about an 0-3 football team. I'm sorry. Sorry if anybody wanted to hear me say more. That's just that, man. But till next time, man. Peace.